Well, this so. is a, this is a lovely story. Tom Shelley, who was uh, in 1976, he was the Irish junior under 18 champion. And he went to America and he worked in the Arthur Ashe Parks tennis there. And he returned with all sorts of documentation how to form Parks Tennis. Very, 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 very wonderful book. Very uh, great information in it. Great directions in it. So he himself and his dad, no, sorry, himself and his younger friends, Jerry Sheehan and other people are around. He's a famous solicitor now. They, they got together and they went to the Dublin Corporation at the time and they sold the project. The corporation bought it. So the corporation came on board straight away with great finance, use of all their facilities, and that's really how we got off the ground. You had to get a, a, a director, you had to get the guy that, uh, when you take him the checking in or whatever, you know, they'd be around. We had over 600 the first year. In St. Anne's, after a couple of years, there was a thousand kids. In Bushy and Herbert, there was five and six hundred. And a couple of more, five and six hundred. And you say to me, where do we get the coaches? Of course we didn't have coaches, one or two. But all the young students, university students, leaving cert. My own son was only 15 at the time. They all came in and did a, a magnificent job in starting it. So it built on from there. And when it built on from there, of course we had some troubles in the middle, but not many. Everything was positive, everybody was supportive. Sponsors, we had KitKat for 21 years, the longest sponsorship in this, this country ever by a company. At one stage, they used to have television ads on parks tennis with kids playing it and KitKat as well. So we, we had that high profile. And then I remember John Tracy called me in when he came, when he was appointed first and Des Allen, the chief executive of Tennis Ireland, and some of my staff. And the first thing he said was, he said, we'll have to get coaches. And I said, just stand by one, I said. At the moment, I said, we have 15 coaches training on an ANCO course. And to give you the story of ANCO is that I, myself and a couple of more went down and met, the, met, the, met them in, in the ANCO building. And we sold them the project that they would give course for tennis. And it was the first project outside of the four walls of ANCO. So we were a first in that, which was absolutely wonderful. So we moved on to there, and then there used to be social welfare people. I can't think of the name, but I hope to have it soon. And we had 18 of those one time. Now, at this time, we were doing 10,000 kids in Dublin. So we had 18 and 15 to work in the summer as assistants. So it kept our costs down and we were able to keep our levels of um, fees down, which was a big part of what I wanted. Well, it was a lot of public relations work for me because I had a wonderful Kay Lonergan and Brendan and my son and all the rest of them who were dedicated to it. And some of the coaches that started then are still with us They've, all these years. They're part-time, of course. Uh, but now the numbers have dwindled and the areas have dwindled. So we uh, we do only a four-week program. But picture this, when we started off first with all those kids, Sheriff Street, Finglas, all those areas, uh, in open tournaments, for instance, Malahide, we'd enter them all for it. And they, they, their parents would get clothes, uh, friends of mine would get clothes for them uh, for, for to play in, in the right gear. And they come arrive in Malahide. And there was one girl in Malahide one day, and I was there, and I, I actually I witnessed it. And she went up to the, 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 the net, and she hit the net, and she says, Hey, you in the blue knicker, stop your effing cheating. In St. Anne's, they'd pile out of the back of the bus. They'd steal daffodils, but they'd return them. Each year, we went down to some city or some place in Ireland, and we'd bring a team from Dublin. And half the team would be in our city. They'd always get gifts. So on the train coming back, they all had got bags, lovely bags. But by the time we got to the Cove Junction, they had sold them all. 
all the bags sold. And then we were down in Waterford and one fellow said to the other quietly, how many balls did you get? He says, I sneaked 24, he says. But they were hilarious and they were good and they were enjoyable. We were in Galway and there was a traffic jam like you had this morning. We all had arrived except the Sheriff Street kids were being driven. And the train was ready to go and he was ready to put his flag out. And I opened the door and go out on the platform and he can't do it. And I do it several times. And the next minute, here comes the horde of inner city kids around the corner and they make the train. It was maybe after five or six years, Tom took off on a pilgrimage, covering the country. And I went as far as Killarney, Belfast, Galway, Limerick. You know, they would be advertised that I was coming and they would come, they'd be tennis interested. Uh, I would throw my speech and the benefits of it, the benefits of it to their, their community, like it was in Dublin. The assistance they would get from Dublin in balls and rackets and in, in, in some finance and grants, and Kay's expertise in, in making contacts to them. And uh, that would all make it much easier for them on the paperwork end of it. And then the meeting then would conclude. So they're all worked up, they're all enthusiastic, and off they go, they elect their committee. And when the committee is elected, as I said, I'm finished with the chair now, the new chair take over. We always had good people, uh, always we had a team of people that would uh, look after the heirs and visit them every day or second day to make sure everything is going all right, there's no problems, and if they wanted any equipment then or whatever. So it was it was a very smooth machine that was working there really, you know, and like at the end product was that uh, uh, that we, we, we peeled off the, uh, the, the the elitism from from tennis forever, like, you know. So anyhow, we finished with Parks Tennis, and what a happy Parks Tennis, and what a beautiful uh, experience for life for me, that I can think of and sit down on my coast, in my chair there, and close my eyes and reflect, and reflect on all the people I met and all the various things.